welcome back to another vlog. It is my last trip before my cruise vacation. So if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I love cruises and I'm actually going on a cruise right after this trip is over. Well, not right after, but I have a day off when I get back from this trip. And then I go off on a cruise out of Port of Miami. It's currently 5.23 in the morning and I'm heading to Fort Lauderdale Airport to start a three-day trip. Now this trip is one of the hardest trips that I've done in a long time because it's a 19 and a half hour three day. So if you're part of the aviation world, you'll know that 19 and a half hours in three days is a lot of hours. I'm basically gonna be doing a lot of flying. I'll tell you guys all about it. I'll bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna be going all the way to Seattle today and then tomorrow I'll be in Orange County, California. So pretty much all my layovers are on the West Coast of the US. So those are gonna be some long flights. So come along, let's get through this together. Pretty much this trip is the only thing in the way of me and my cruise. I started my day off at the employee parking lot. As you can see, it is still very early and I have a long day ahead of me. So I get my blazer on and catch the employee bus over to Terminal 3 at Fort Lauderdale Airport. It's a very busy Wednesday morning here at the airport. Luckily, I gave myself plenty of time to get to my gate. Once I got in the airport, I was randomly selected to go through security screening, which has been happening to flight attendants a lot lately. When I finally made it through security, I quickly walked over to my gate. Today, I am working on the Airbus 321 as the number one flight attendant, aka the lead flight attendant. Some of the responses responsibilities of the number one flight attendant are working in the business class cabin, communicating with the pilots, communicating with gate agents, making sure the plane leaves on time, making announcements, etc. First flight of the day is two hours and 38 minutes and takes me to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Since it's a 7 a.m. flight, I'll be serving breakfast in business class. Lots of coffee and orange juice was served. After my service was complete, I had the opportunity to enter the flight deck and look at the clouds below us. Upon landing at DFW and deplaning the passengers, it was time to quickly gather my belongings and switch aircrafts. Our new plane was at another terminal, so we had to catch the Skylink, which is a train at the airport that connects terminals. When we got to the gate, we got on, got settled, did our safety checks, and once boarding was complete, it was time to fly to Seattle. Our flying time was 3 hours and 45 minutes. On this flight, I served lunch and business class. I was a little busier on this flight, so it helped the time go by faster. First time laying over in Seattle, you guys, and this hotel, probably one of the nicest ones I've been to in a long time. Let's start off with the bathroom here. It looks very luxurious and sleek. So we have a shower over here to my right, and then over here to my left, what do we have here? A toilet, ooh, okay, cool. Then we have this big screen TV, a bed. I don't know, it just seems really nice. And then it's actually a really pretty day here. It's cold, but it's pretty. So guys, this morning in security, my bag was pulled to the side and you'll never believe why. My beloved Hot Logic flagged TSA and they thought that there was like a sharp item in it. So they obviously they pulled my bag to the side and they looked inside of it. And I, just, I just thought how ironic that the one thing that I travel with and that I love so much got me in trouble. Well, not really in trouble, but got my bag pulled to the side in TSA this morning, which is weird because I always have my Hot Logic with me and I always pass my bag through the TSA x-ray machine because we've been getting random checks lately. So we've had to go through normal security and no one has ever said anything about my Hot Logic before. So that was the first. And then this is the cool area right by the entrance, which I guess is supposed to be like the closet. And we have a little fridge here. And then we also have a coffee maker and it comes with the little uh, pods. You have some creamer and then these cool little bottles of water from the Rocky Mountains. I love this. All right guys, I'm pumped. Day one of this three day trip is down. 
two more days to go and then I'll be on my way to a vacation. Today was a 10 hour duty day, guys, 10 hours. But we only got paid for seven of those hours, seven and a half of those hours. Because a lot of the time was boarding time and time in between flights. I get that question a lot. Once the airplane pushes back from the gate, that's when we start getting paid to the moment that the plane blocks in at the next gate. I feel like I got a second win. My eyes are burning me because that means I'm tired, but I kind of like want to go work out, but we'll see how I feel. This hotel is nowhere near downtown Seattle, so definitely not going to go there. It's a short layover. Our pickup time is at 3.45 a.m. tomorrow. Luckily, it's 3.45 a.m. West Coast time, and my body technically is still on East Coast time, so it won't be as painful. All right, time to take off the suit and just chill out for a bit. The next day. It is 3.03 .03 a.m. Day two is starting now. And yes, these are my two doggies. This is my baby in heaven, and that's my Mia. She's home right now. I got a full eight hours of sleep, y'all. I went to bed like at 6.30, 7 p.m. here. I'm ready to get this day started. Today we're working a flight from Seattle to Phoenix, which is like two and a half hours, and then Phoenix to Orange County, which will be a short like hour flight maybe. So let's get this day over with. Alrighty, and I knew it was gonna be a good day because Kelly and Ryan are on the TV here in Seattle at 3.30 in the morning. If you're not from the US, Kelly and Ryan is a talk show with a morning talk show here in the US. And usually where I live, it comes on at 10 in the morning, but here is on at 3 a.m. I know it's probably like an old episode or whatever, but I love just having it in the background while getting ready. It made me feel, made me feel good. Anyways, took my shower and I feel really good and refreshed. Like I don't feel like it's 3.30 in the morning. I feel more like it's 6.30 in the morning because for me, for my body, it is 6.30 in the morning because I'm coming from the East Coast. Bags are packed, I'm gonna throw my blazer on and then I'm gonna go out the door and get the day started. Another day, another hotel room. Same as yesterday, nothing to report back. Today was a pretty much routine day. Served breakfast, served a small snack for the second flight. First flight was about two and a half hours. Second flight was about an hour. I'm now in Orange County, California. It's actually cold here and it was raining when we landed. This is my hotel room. Um, I definitely have stayed here before, but I don't like the decor as much as I liked the hotel from yesterday. Uh, the smell here, if you guys can like picture what an old castle would smell like like it doesn't stink it just smells like old that's what it smells like here it almost has like a haunted scent if the word haunted could smell like something this is what it would smell like it's, it's just it just smells haunted I don't know why anyways um despite the fact that I still got eight hours of sleep last night I'm still tired but then again I also did work about what was my duty day today Oh, today was seven hours and 47 minute duty time that I was on duty. So pretty much a normal work day for the average person around eight hours. Now time to relax. Sorry, nothing to report. No airplane footage for today because pretty much the same as yesterday. Serve meals, serve drinks. This hotel is like 11 to 12 miles away from Disneyland. So I could technically do that, but I'm not gonna do Disneyland because I'm not gonna pay $100 or whatever the ticket costs for not even a full day's worth. But I definitely gotta do a Disneyland trip at some point in my life. Like I love Disney World, but I've never done Disneyland. Go figure. I've had some time to chill out in the room. I am now reading some comments from the last video that I posted here on YouTube and I was going to respond to some comments here. One question that I've been getting a lot is can you eat the leftover food from the cabin? After all the passengers have eaten and anything that's left over, yes, you are more than welcome to eat the food because it's going to get thrown away anyway. But yeah, just make sure that everyone's eaten and that you're not eating someone else's food. But yeah, if it's left over and service is complete, then you're welcome to eat whatever is left over on the flight. I also got this question a lot. What was I watching on the TV in my last video? So yeah, I noticed when I was editing the video, I'm like, oh my God, that is like some weird footage that's in the background. But it was actually a show called Bar Rescue. I wasn't really watching it. I just like to have the TV on while I'm getting, getting ready. But yeah, there were girls in bikinis. <laughs> Someone else asked, why do you serve such random snacks on the plane? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know why the airline uh, chose the snacks that they chose. And I've never had complaints on the snacks. I think that's above my pay grade. I don't make those, <laughs> we don't make those decisions. I saw in a prior video that you had a trip that started out of Fort Lauderdale, like the one that I'm currently on. Do you have options to bid trips out of Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, we do. So Fort Lauderdale,
Aero is considered a co-terminal for us. So even though Miami is our base, we do have flights that take off out of Fort Lauderdale. So basically the company has created trip sequences that originate in Fort Lauderdale and end in Fort Lauderdale. So it's, it's, it's a great option for those of us who live closer to Fort Lauderdale and don't want to drive all the way to Miami. Someone else asked me, what, what narrow body aircraft do you like working on? I think I prefer the Airbus 321 because overhead bin space is much larger. There's just a lot more space to work in, in our galleys and stuff. So yeah, definitely the Airbus 321. And yeah, that was most of the questions that I had on the last vlog. Anywho, day two of this three day trip is done. One more day to go. The next day. All right, it is 4.30 in the morning here at this hotel in California and I am up. But that's only because it's 7.30 for me back home. I'm gonna do a little workout and then go and get ready for my day. Last day of this three day trip. It's a really decent gym though. They have this thing, treadmills, machines, free weights. Finished with the workout. My favorite thing about West Coast layovers is that I can call everyone back home on the East Coast and everyone's up and getting ready for work and doing stuff. So I already had two phone conversations this morning and it's not even 6 a.m. here, so that's great. Uh, got my workout done, packed, showered, or showered, packed, and gonna head to the airport now. Let's go get this done, let's go get this day over with. Started the morning off on a Boeing 737 from Orange County, California to Chicago, Illinois. Our flying time was two hours and 54 minutes. This was a typical breakfast flight with lots of coffee and Bloody Marys. My two breakfast choices in first class were an omelet or a fruit plate. It was served with warm breakfast breads. Upon landing in Chicago, we did plane the passengers and had a three hour sit until our last flight home. Just found a quiet space in the terminal. Now I have one more flight to go and then I'll be done with this trip. Three hours later. It is the next day. Obviously, I'm home, back from my trip. I even got a haircut. I feel like a new person. It was a lovely three-day trip. It was long, uh, lots of flight hours, but I got through it. I feel good about it. Now, my paycheck is not gonna be that low next month, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here. I wanna say hello to somebody. Hello. Hey, everyone. Are you excited for a vacation? Oh, I am. Vacation's all I ever wanted. So yeah, we leave on our cruise tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed so you can watch those vlogs. I can't believe it's tomorrow already. I know. So exciting. If you're wondering what he is doing, he's actually making us some dinner, or not dinner, lunch. Lunch. Lunch, lunch, lunch. We'll make some lunch. Yeah, so. And then later tonight, I'm gonna eat some more probably at my family's. No, that's right. Again, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right now. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.